this this old game is so hard, bro. But parachutes. Now, for those who don't know, the Game and Watch was like this, these like '80s handheld things. This is before the NES came out. The original OG Nintendo. It's like um, these like pre-configured handhelds. Again, this is for those who don't know. You already know. Sorry, I'm preaching the choir, but. It's like one game, one handheld. So this, this is Parachute. So they made, so Game & Watch came out with it. It was called Parachute. You just, you buy the handheld. It looked like a, a DS. You only get one game. But it, if you guys ever played, I, I was in the 90s, I had a Star Wars game, like the Tiger Games ones. So this is the uh, Game & Watch Gallery. So basically it's like, it's got the OG Game & Watch games plus like, the OG Game & Watch games like kind of redone with like newer graphics but it's the, really the only way you could play it as a play these as a game without playing the original Game & Watch so these are all Game & Watch games Let's see and just so you know I'm going to be using quick saves my goal is to get a thousand for each game right now we're at one point it's gonna take forever Sorry, no music with this game, just beeps. Oh, go away, shark. Okay. Save state. Again, we're trying to get to a thousand. I ain't trying to prove how good I am. I'm just trying to get to a thousand, because I think they said to beat the to beat the, the game, meaning the game and watch gallery. You have to get a thousand points for each game. That's... I can barely do 200 for each game. So, which means I'm probably not going to be able to do it, like, without quick saves. Call me cheap. I ain't trying to prove my skill level, I'm just trying to beat the game. By the way, do you guys ever did any of you guys ever seen that gaming historian video where um he talks about why a lot of the um earlier NES games didn't have save states? It wasn't an issue of Nintendo was like, oh, like saving is for like people who suck. It was actually a little a literal hardware um what's what I'm looking for? A hardware Was a word. Anyways, the hardware wasn't able to do it. How about that? <laughs> the hardware wasn't able to let you save because of like the hardware capabilities, I guess. So when they came out with the new style chips, oh man, I'm sorry, just killed them. Yeah, when they came out with the like the the better chips, like halfway through the NES's lifetime, like that's when they like. Started like um having save states. Ugh. Like, do you guys know that um Zelda, the original Zelda on the NES, when it was launched in Japan, it was on a floppy disk. It was not a cartridge. Because and you know, that was the whole point of like the, the Famicom disk system was that cartridges couldn't hold enough. Um ooh, save. It couldn't hold enough, so that's the point of the disk system, was like to expand it. Well, what's funny is that like, shortly after they came out with, they launched the disk system in Japan, uh, it, be it became obsolete because uh, technology got better and the cartridges who were able to hold more memory than the floppy disk. So when The Legend of Zelda came out here in America, it was on a cartridge, but in Japan it was a floppy disk. And so, with that being said, it goes back to, um, the hardware- Hardware limitations! That's the word! The hardware limitations, originally in the day, were the reasons why there was no save states. Because the chip could hold any more than the game itself. So that being said, if that's the reason why saves weren't a thing, then it ain't an issue of, Bro, you suck, you suck, you, you gotta save? It's like, nah, dude. <laughs> that's, that was never intended, bro. They- Saving wasn't a thing because of hardware limitations, not because they were like, oh, 
you're good, you're not gonna, you won't save. It's like, obviously, yeah, you can prove how good you are by saving. Like, no one's saying that, like, yeah. If you can, if you can get a thousand points on this game without saving, it's like, yeah, you're better than me. Like, you're proving it, but... What should we call it? Saving gatekeeping? <laughs> That's a good idea. Wait to, wait to have him fix all the bugs first, and then get it, right? Woohoo, that was hard. You guys, are we going to be able to make it to a thousand? Well, playing like that? Nope. Oh my gosh, slow it down. Dude, this game is getting me sweaty. Physically and... New, uh... Slang. Ugh! Okay, imagine doing this on an actual Game & Watch, where the buttons probably feel terrible in your hands. Alright, save it, cause... Wait, what happened? Oh, that's right, every 200 points, it like, gives you a handicap. Like, if you have a- it goes like, you know, most of these games, it's like, three strikes, you're out. So, uh, as you saw, I had a shark there. So, that's I was like, I'm like, I was trying to figure out why, why was it like beeping like that? Like the shark and saying miss. I'm like, I know I'm catching the guy. No, what it's doing is like, it's, it's erasing the strike against me. That noise, jeez. <laughs> Music to my ears. Oh, bro. Seriously, dude, these old games, bro, they're not joking. Older games are definitely harder than newer games, man. Ain't no, ain't no auto saves and hints. It's like, bro, you just gotta know. You just gotta figure it out. If it takes you three years to beat a game, oh well. That's, until you figure it out, you ain't gonna beat this game. That's how it was, right? Oh my goodness. Question, why is there so many people jumping right now? That's the question. Dude, how many people are in this helicopter, man? Like I said, you guys, we're trying to get to a thousand. And the reason why just a thousand is that... Because I was, like, trying to read up on the game of, like, understanding, like, how it works. Because I'm like, how do you... Because like, the thing is, like, how do you beat games like this? Where it's, there's no... It's just a, it's just a high score, right? All these games, you know the games I'm talking about where it's like, it's just a high score, does it matter? It's like, how do you beat a game like that? You don't, you just, whoever has the highest score wins, right? And the bragging rights. So I was like looking up, how do you actually beat this? And it's like, well, if you get a thousand points per game on each game, you un, uh, you unlock the credits or like the credits unlock. So our goal here is to get a thousand points. And we're gonna do that with a bunch of quick saves, because like I said, we ain't trying to prove anything. We're just trying to beat the game. Dude, do you think there's a world record for this game? Yeah, bro. I'm gonna be unavailable this next weekend, man. They're having a Game & Watch... Uh, competition at the local, uh, Marriott Hotel. <laughs> Dude, talk about obs obscure games to be good at. <laughs> Somebody, like, insanely good at a Game & Watch game? Oh shoot! That's... That's Dangerous Fingers Dan over there. He's got the highest record in Parachute on the Game & Watch. 
Is this Morse code? Who are you trying to contact? Ask them, dude. Stephanie, try, are they, can you please try to find out via Morse code why are they still jumping from this helicopter? So every 10, I'm saving it. I ain't freaking around, bro. You know, I will say one thing. Having these lights on here uh, uh, behind my monitor for the camera, I think it's like making me hot. Or is that the alcohol? I can't tell. That's the one thing I noticed about alcohol is that when I drink it, I get like, like sweaty and like overheated. Does that happen to anybody else? Could be a combination of the alcohol and all the lights on the room. Okay, that is normal. Okay, you guys, we're coming up on the 400 point mark. Again, our goal is to get 1,000. Come on! Oh, oh. Alright, five more, then we got 400. One. Or 400, I'm sorry. Yes! You lose uh, all your filters. Maybe the alcohol will help me lose my fear of quick saving. How entertained are you guys right now? with this game and me is this is this how you want to spend your friday night <laughs> just listening to a bunch of 8-bit beeps and me slowly getting buzzed and then drunk and sweaty My goodness, bro. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is like, it's okay. It's not like it's fun, nor is it terrible. But this is kind of one of those games like, uh, okay, I'm beating this to beat this. You know how those games are like, oh man, I'm having so much fun, don't end. No, is this the last boss? Oh, I don't want to beat him because if I beat him, that means the game's over. This is definitely not one of those games. I'm gonna go like full like angry video gamer in this game, like take it out and like throw it across the room. So here's the thing, while while some people fall asleep to ASMR or waterfalls and rain, there's then those who fall asleep to Atari games being played in the background. Yes. Oh gosh, we're coming up on the halfway point, y'all. Almost a 500. 
Okay, y'all, we've reached the five. We're halfway there. How long has it been? So how long, how long, how, however long it was? Let's run it one more time. Crinkling uh, paper. Blowing bubbles on their chocolate milk. I mean, the ASMR never ends, man. People ripping up paper. You guys have a, uh, okay, here's a question. Do you guys fall asleep with, to just, like, nothing? Like, just turn the lights off and you just try to close your eyes and just fall asleep? Or do, do any of you fall asleep watching stuff on your phone or a, a show on the background? I know some people will play, like, Bob Ross. There was a time I used to love falling asleep to, like, um... How it's made. You guys ever seen that show on uh, Discovery Channel? They actually say, um, so white noise helps, uh, like, babies fall asleep. So now, no, obviously now there's like white noise machines you can get, apps, or just a YouTube video. But my mom was telling me like a technique she was told like in the 80s was like, you get a, um, a vacuum and turn it on and leave it running in another room. Like, so like the baby's in one room, you're in another room. Not the same room with the baby, but another room where, you know, the loudness of the vacuum is diffused by it being another room and so they sit and it works so you're having trouble fall asleep stick a vacuum outside your house right next to your window You'll be happy and your neighbors will hate you. You know what was like that? I went to India in 2010. It was like that night too. Very loud. It's like you'd have to close the window and... Yeah, I can imagine what that is. So, it's funny is, uh, my work is literally right on the 405 freeway. We're not on the 405, but, like, right on the edge. So, like, okay, like, or, um, it's next to the 405 freeway. You could see the back of our building when you're driving on the 405, right? We're in Manhattan Beach. We're, we're basically Manhattan Beach Boulevard on the 405. And I can, I, I can just imagine what it's like to be living next to the freeway. Because I, it's, I know what it's like working next to one. Is it any time you have a big semi that goes by, it's like it shakes the whole building. Whoa, that was fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was really fast, bro. Slow down! Oh my gosh, either this is actually getting harder, or I'm getting... The alcohol is starting to uh, slow me down. Alright, boys, we've hit the... And girl, we've hit the... 700 mark. Only 300 more points to go until we hit 1,000. Your Popeye snoring all night. <laughs> is that your form of uh, white noise stuff that you fall asleep to? Is Popeye?
Oh my gosh. I get... Ooh, tricked me there, boy. Ain't gonna happen again. Here we go. Oh no, I just loaded! Dang, I meant to save it. That's the problem with quick loads and quick saves. You gotta be careful. I'd accidentally load instead of save. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> We go. Oh shoot. Okay, who's over this game? Raise your hand. <laughs> Who never wants to play this game ever again after we're done? You know how like there's games where it's like you're like, oh that was such a good game, man. I can't wait to play through it. Oh, Okay, it goes right, left, middle. There we go. Yeah, you know how you like play through games and like maybe a year goes by and you're like, oh, I'm gonna play through it again. This is like one of those games that like I'm gonna play it now in 2021 and I'll never play it again. <laughs> a one and done, dude. To pass this game without saving, you have to take 20 Red Bulls. Yeah, could you guys imagine? I... There's no way I'd be able to, to beat this without quick saves. We would have been, like, on our 20th game right now. And me just, like, rage quitting, throwing my controller across the room. Even getting a strike. I mean, and I guess that's like anything, right? I mean, these people don't have like obscure skill sets. I mean, the reality is that if you only played this game ever, you'd be just as good as anybody else with a high score. Oh my gosh, slow down. Oh, how do you get that? How do you get that? Is that even possible? Hold on. Again. Oh, it is. Oh, my. No, dude. Even with the quick saves, that's like, it, that, was, that was so hard. Oh, I did it. Oh, okay, stop it with these guys. Stop it, dude. Stop it with these fast guys. Oh my. I'm like tapping the D button so fast, you guys. Mm. Okay, slowed back down. All right, we've hit 800, you guys. Less than, just less than 200 to go. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. I'm over this. I'm over this like a long plane flight. Just want to be home in my bed. Over people. Over traveling. Over this game. So I'm move on to the next game. You see, here's the thing. I I I'm playing the Game & Watch Gallery. So it's got a bunch of Game & Watch games, so 
I'm not even anywhere near done playing this Game & Watch gallery, because after I beat this, I've got to move on to uh, and play other games within Game & Watch gallery. Okay. Okay, just slow back down. Okay, guys, less than 100 left. We can do this. Come on. I'm in sweaty right now. Dude, I'm having a hard time even focusing on the on the on the graphics. So my eyes are starting to get like tired. Alright, 50 more points, guys. Okay, no, don't speed up. Uh, don't speed up. Okay, slow down, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm tapping the D-pad so fast right now. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, that's too fast! Ooh, got it. Okay. Slow it down. Slow okay, three more. Oh, we started over. Look, it starts over at a thousand. Look, back to one point. Okay, so can we... Can we lose now? All right, let's just lose. Oh, my... I'm not gonna lie, you look generally frustrated and quite entertaining. Okay, bye. Have fun. Get eaten by the sharks, dude. I'm over you guys. I'm done rescuing you guys, man. That's it. High score. Awesome. Cool. A new event has just opened in the gallery corner. Wouldn't you like to go and sneak a peek? Okay. It's kind of hard to read. Sneak a peek. Donkey Kong released June 3rd, 1982. Wow. Aw, uh, dang it. I'm so close! Oh, man.